Now, today we have 14 countries and 19 telepresence locations with 42 participants, of which 24 are students. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Promethean and Cisco initiating Education Fast Forward, providing the structure and infrastructure to make this gathering possible. Previous events have addressed creativity and science and digital skills as a right. Productivity in learning, making learning relevant, innovation, learning and uncertainty, encompassing brain science and games. I'm absolutely excited by the forthcoming debate addressing learner voice and peace one day and will be more delighted if the debate leads to actions. There's been a lot of talks and no walks, but okay. with a young group and an energetic audience like yourself, I hope you will not only walk and talk, but take the lead to run. In Hong Kong this year, the UNESCO Hong Kong Association plans to initiate a project called Peace for All in the Schools. And recently, there has been great disharmony in the society due to the rich and poor gap and immigrants from greater China coming to Hong Kong to give birth to their children mm. and frustrations of various social and political groups in society. Hence, we hope that by implementing this project, it will provide our young people, mainly students, a voice to tell us what they think of peace and how they can help to achieve these admirable goals of peace. In order to create a greater diversity of cultural interactions among the schools, we have planned to link up a local school with an international school and, that, and let them work together on some projects of common concerns and interests, supported by the embassies and chambers of commerce. It would be great if we could work with schools in the UK and other countries as well. And the aim of this project is to provide culture of peace to Hong Kong students through cultural diversity and intercultural dialogue and give voice to students on what they mean by peace and also how they can contribute in building peace in their personal life, in their home, in the school, the wider community of Hong Kong and of the world. Today's forum exemplifies a wonderful platform for young people to share and learn from one another. I believe this sort of interactions will promote mutual understanding that leads to peace. And we hope that this project will foster in our young people a better sense of nationalism and cultural sensitivity, that they will be able to appreciate differences in cultures, become more adjustable and open to differences, and become better prepared for world citizenship and face the challenges of globalization. Mm -hmm.